Picture the scene. You're on a deserted island surrounded by avocados, steaks, and a bunch of low-carb veggies. Welcome to the world of the ketogenic diet. This popular diet flips the script on traditional eating habits making fats the star of the show and carbs the villain. The science? Your body enters a state of ketosis, burning fat instead of carbs for fuel. Sounds like an interesting twist, doesn't it? So, ready to join the keto bandwagon? Let's dive in. Now don't get fooled by the mountains of avocados and steaks. The keto diet isn't just about gorging on fats and proteins. Let's unravel the mystery of the macronutrient ratios that are the backbone of the keto diet. Imagine you're at a party, and you've got three types of guests. Fats, proteins, and carbs. In a keto party, fats are the life of the party, making up 70 to 75% of the total calories. They're the social butterflies mingling with everyone and providing the energy you need to keep going. Then you have proteins. They're the steady, reliable guests, up 20 to 25% of your calories. They're not as flashy as fats, but they're crucial for maintaining muscle mass and keeping you feeling full. And lastly, we have carbs. In the keto world, carbs are the wallflowers. They're to just 5 to 10% of your total calorie intake. Why so low? Well, when you drastically cut carbs, your body switches from using glucose for energy to using fats, leading to a state known as ketosis. And that's the sweet spot where the magic happens. But let's not forget, not all fats and proteins are created equal. When it comes comes to fats, think avocados, nuts, olives, your heart-healthy, unsaturated fats. And for proteins, you'll want to go for quality, like lean meats, fish, and eggs. Now you might be thinking, great, I'll just eat a mountain of avocados and steak every day. Not so fast, it's about balance. You need to maintain these ratios consistently for optimal results. And besides, who wants to eat the same thing every day? So there you have it. The keto diet is a high fat, moderate protein, low carb diet. But it's not just about lots of fats and it's about eating the right kinds, in the right amounts. Remember it's not just what you eat, it's also how much you eat. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more keto tips and tricks. So, you have your macronutrient ratios down? But what about the actual foods you should be eating? Well, let's dive right into it. The keto diet is all about high fats, moderate proteins, and low carbs. But not all fats are created equal. You're not going to reach for a bucket of fried chicken and call it a day. Oh no. We're talking healthy fats here. Avocados, for instance, are a keto dieter's best friend. They're not just for your toast anymore, folks. And then we have nuts. The perfect snack to keep you satiated between meals. Now on to proteins. You want to aim for quality sources like meat and eggs. But remember, moderation is key. This isn't an all-you-can-eat steak buffet. Balance is what we're striving for here. And let's not forget about our green friends, vegetables. Now not all vegetables are welcome to the keto party. We're looking for low-carb options. Think spinach, zucchini, bell peppers, and the like. They're not just there to add color to your plate, they also provide essential nutrients and fiber, keeping your gut happy and trust me, a happy gut is a happy you. But what about carbs, you ask? Well, this is where we need to be a little picky. High-carb foods like grains and sugars are a no-no. I know, I know, it's tough to say goodbye to that morning bowl of cereal or that afternoon sweet treat. But remember, we're on a mission here. And that mission is to achieve and maintain ketosis. Now, I want you to imagine your body as a house. To build a strong and sturdy house, you need the right materials. And in the case of the keto diet, these materials are your healthy fats, quality proteins, and low-carb veggies. Choose the wrong materials and your house won't be as strong as it could be. So, remember, make wise choices. Your body, like a house, deserves the best materials. It's not just about the macronutrient ratios but also about the quality of foods you're consuming. It's like building a house. You need the right materials to make it strong and sturdy. Being on the keto diet isn't just about the food, it's a lifestyle. Now, let's dive into hydration, electrolytes, and meal prep, which are all equally important aspects of the keto diet. Hydration is crucial, no matter what diet you're on. But when you're on the keto diet, it's even more important. You see, when your body enters the state of ketosis, it tends to flush out more water. So, you need to replenish your body's water reserves regularly. It's like being a cactus in a desert, except you're a human on a diet, and your desert is your day-to-day -day life. Aim to drink at least eight full glasses of water each day. And no, unfortunately, coffee and wine don't count. Now let's talk about electrolytes. They are the body's electric sparks, and they are essential for maintaining a balance in the body. 
When you're on the keto diet, your body tends to lose sodium, potassium, and magnesium, three major electrolytes. So, to keep yourself from feeling like a smartphone with a drained battery, you need to replenish these electrolytes. Foods like avocados, nuts, and seeds are excellent sources of these minerals. Supplementing with a high-quality electrolyte mix can also be beneficial. And finally, let's talk about meal prep. If you've ever felt like a headless chicken in the kitchen, not knowing what to cook, meal prep is your savior. It's about planning and preparing your meals in advance. So, when hunger strikes, you're not scrambling for a quick fix that might derail your diet. Set aside some time each week to plan your meals, make a shopping list, and prep your ingredients. Trust me, your future self will thank you. Remember, the goal here is to make your life easier, not harder. So, if the thought of preparing a week's worth of meals feels daunting, start with just a few days. Every little bit helps. So, there you have it. Hydration, electrolytes, and meal prep, the unsung heroes of the keto diet. Think of it as your keto survival guide. Now before you jump headfirst into the keto pool, there are a few things you should know. Embarking on a keto journey can be as exciting as setting sail into uncharted waters. But remember, every adventure comes with its share of surprises. In the case of keto, one such surprise might be the infamous keto flu. This is a common side effect that can occur when your body is adjusting to its new fuel source, fat. Symptoms might include fatigue, headache, irritability, and difficulty focusing, keto fog. But don't worry, these symptoms are typically short-lived. To ease the transition, consider gradually reducing your carb intake rather than going cold turkey, stay hydrated, and ensure you're getting enough electrolytes. Another essential point to consider is the value of professional consultation. While the keto diet is generally safe for most people, it's not without its potential pitfalls. For instance, those with certain medical conditions, such as diabetes or heart disease, should approach the diet with caution. That's why it's crucial to have a chat with a healthcare or nutrition professional before embarking on your keto journey. They can provide personalized advice, help monitor your progress, and ensure you're not inadvertently compromising your health. Lastly, let's talk about individual approaches. The beauty of the keto diet is that it's not a one-size-fits-all plan, it's flexible enough to accommodate your individual preferences and health goals. Love avocados? Great, make them a staple. Not a fan of meat? No problem. There are plenty of plant-based protein sources that are keto-friendly. The key is to listen to your body and adjust accordingly. You see, the keto diet is like a dance partner. It might lead you, but you have the freedom to add your own flair, to make the dance your own. If something doesn't feel right, change your steps. If you're thriving, keep going. Remember, your body is unique and so should be your diet. The keto diet isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Now, that's a phrase you've likely heard in the context of exercise, but it rings true when it comes to embracing a new dietary lifestyle as well. The keto diet is not a quick fix or a one-off detox. It's a long-term commitment, a lifestyle change. Why is this important? Because sustainable changes are the ones that stick. The keto diet is not about depriving yourself. No, it's about redefining your relationship with food, reprogramming your metabolism, and ultimately, reshaping your life. The key to making keto a long-term lifestyle lies in taking it slow and steady. Think of it as a journey, a gradual progression towards healthier choices. Initially, you may choose to cut down on high-carb foods, then gradually increase your intake of healthy fats and proteins. Over time, you'll start to see changes, not just in your weight, but in your energy levels, your mood, even your sleep patterns. Remember, everyone's keto journey is unique. You don't have to replicate someone else's experience. Listen to your body, adjust as necessary, and most importantly, be patient with yourself. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will your keto lifestyle be. And lastly, don't forget to enjoy the journey. Celebrate your small victories, learn from your setbacks, and always keep your eye on the prize. A healthier, happier you. So, are you ready to embark on your keto journey? Remember, it's not just a diet, it's a lifestyle. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more keto tips and tricks.